Hello. It's Teresa, Keto Fat Girl No More. It's been a long day. Um, so Saturday, Saturday um, morning, I took my husband to the ER because he thought that he injured his arm at work a couple of weeks ago. And I kept telling him to go to the doctor, but you know how some men are, they just won't go to the doctor. Well, it kept getting like worse. It, it was like he thought he pulled a muscle or something. And so Friday night, he didn't get any sleep. He was up all night, just in pain. And, um, by the time I got to him on Saturday, he came, he came and picked me up and he said, I, I've got to go to the ER. I'm in so much pain. And I looked at it. It was humongous. My husband is a pretty skinny man right now. Um, his arms are small. He used to be a bodybuilder. He still has a little bit of a bicep, but his back arm is pretty small and his arm is so swollen. It it's bigger than mine. And my arms are, are pretty big for, you know, I'm, I'm still a fat girl and I got big arms and that one arm, it looked like a Popeye arm. It was, it was so big and swollen and red. So we get into the ER and as soon as they saw it, they took him in so quick. Now, I thought maybe it was a bug bite or a spider bite, or I had never seen anything like it before. So I never would have thought that it was a staph infection. So they said that, because my husband does concrete, they said that he must have um, scratched it on some rebar or something. And he was doing a, a side job the day before my granddaughter was born, which was the tw May 20th. And that was the day he started complaining about that he thought he had hurt his arm the day before. So he, he, he said that he thought he pulled a muscle. So anyways, they took him in real quick and immediately started talking about admitting him. So they did a sonogram and they said not only did he have a staph infection on the outside of his skin, but he had like a really big abscess on the muscle. So that was, that was yesterday. I'm so tired. That was yesterday. Um, it's like almost eight o'clock on Sunday night and right now, and I'm just leaving the hospital and he, he was supposed to get surgery today. They didn't give him the surgery. They said they need to send him to another hospital that has an MRI machine because they want to give him an MRI because they want to see exactly how big it is and exactly where it is so they could take it out. So this morning I went to church because I had a lot of obligations and he told me just go because my daughter wants to go to camp meeting and I knew the only way I was going to get her there is if I tried to pull some kind of fundraiser together. So I talked to the ministry and they said it was fine. I could do it. And so I'm getting a car wash together for a couple of Sundays before they go to the camp so she can go because I don't want her to miss out. She's missed out on so much and with our living situation and everything that's been going on, I just feel like a terrible mom because she's missed out on a lot. So I was at the church and when I got out of church, I called him and he said that the doctor had said that his heart or the nurse had said that his heart rate was really low. So when I get to the hospital, cause I come straight here after church, he says, they said my heart rate was low again. So they're trying to figure out why my heart rate is low. And so they sent for a cardiologist. So the cardiologist comes and the cardiologist says that he, his electrical system is completely shutting down and he needs, um, what is that called? A pacemaker, but they can't give him the pacemaker until they get rid of the infection. So tomorrow he's going to, they're going to take him in the ambulance to the other hospital to get the MRI. Then they're going to bring him back and he's going to get the surgery. And I'm just hoping and praying that they get all of the infection so he can get the pacemaker. And my husband is, is 54. He'll be 55 next month. But his father had his first heart attack when he was 50. And then he had like three heart surgeries before he died in his seventies. So 
the doctor said that it, this is hereditary, that it isn't anything that my husband did to cause this. And everybody that I've talked to has said it's such a blessing that he got that thing on his arm so he could go in and, and you know, get his arm checked out and then find out what was going on with his heart because he could have just dropped dead one day on the street somewhere because he didn't know he had a problem with his heart. We both knew that he was really tired and fatigued, but we thought it was from all the walking and stuff that he's been doing. And I'm just like mind boggled. I mean, this is the first time really that I've been alone besides dri driving after I dropped off my youngest daughter earlier. But this is the first, it's like really hitting me now. And I just, um, for all of you that know how to pray, please pray that my husband, um, that they get the infection and that he's able to get the pacemaker. I just feel like, you know, when you're already down and you get kicked even further, I feel like it's just been one thing after another. And I know we're going to make it. I know everything's going to work out. And I know one day I'll be able to look back on this and I'll be able to see, I'll be able to understand the reason why I had to go through all this. Um, maybe I'll be able to counsel somebody that's going through this. I don't, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I'm just thinking about everything that is going on in our life. I'm thinking about the fact that he's sleeping in a car and he's getting ready to have a major heart surgery. And how is he going to leave the hospital and go back to a car? So I know my pastor's wife told me to stop thinking about all that stuff, but there's just, and if I don't do any videos for the rest of the week, my phone's going to get shut off on Wednesday if I don't pay the bill. And I don't have the money for the bill. So, I mean, it's just one thing after another. So, I'm so sorry that this video is so depressing. Um, but I will say I lost a pound. I weighed myself. And I, I'm down to 209. And I'll probably lose another pound tomorrow because I barely ate anything today except for some pepperoni and cheese. But I really don't even care about that right now. I'm just worried about my husband and just worried about our living situation and where is he going to go when he gets out of the hospital. So all I'm asking for on this video is prayer. If you guys can please just pray for my husband. Okay. Y'all have a good night. God bless. Bye.